Hey guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, kind of at a different angle because I'm bored. I'm just lazy. I feel like sitting like this. Um, I'm still in my living room though. But um, I'm gonna be going to bed soon since I have my interview tomorrow. It's like it's one in the morning. Um, but something that like I was talking to a friend about like Twilight today. Um, and it kind of <laughs> something that. I I read the books when they were as they released and they were okay. Um I wasn't a fan girl by any means. Um but I looked at them just books, you know. I mean they were okay. Stephanie Meyer's not the greatest author in the entire world. Like some teenage girls seem to think. Um but um there's just certain holes that bother me, um, that in her books, like, written, apparent, like, you know, this video is just gonna be me going about these holes that bother the hell out of me, um, apparently they can't cry, but they have venom in their eyes so their eyes can move, so why don't they just cry venom? That's something that <clears throat> kind of bothered me. Um, There are other things, but the ultimate thing that gets to me um, is Carlisle is a doctor. The, the father is a doctor. I can't remember how old all of them are, but he, you know, well, when vampires in there in that time world, in that you know story, the the world of the sto you know Twilight, vampires have been around for a long time. So, Carlyle is a doctor. Carlyle has been around quite a while. How the hell did he not know Edward could get Bella pregnant? Now, obviously, you know, they're not going to know of every single half-vampire pregnancy in the world. But, honestly, how the hell did he not know? It's kind of like, did they not have sex ed in, like, vampire? Do va vampires don't have sex ed? Is this like some, so, I don't understand, are they like Christians and don't believe in sexual education? Because that's kind of what I'm getting from it. <laughs> I really honestly want to know how on earth they did not know he, she, she, he could get her pregnant. And the thing is, how? How could he get her pregnant? I know that this is really ripping apart the fantasy part of it, but how on earth could he get an erection? That's something I want to know. How? How? He, he's dead there's no blood throwing through his body and sure preteen girls probably don't know how they work how um a penis works but it's blood you know blood flow so <laughs> how did you know how did how did that happen i could imagine it being unpleasant it's just really a random thought but i could i could imagine it being unpleasant he's cold and, and but I, I digress. How, and also, how could he produce sperm? You know, even if there is some in there from, you know, his life, like, or from when he was alive, it would be dead. It would it would be dead. It would be, like, frozen. It, it would be... I don't need to keep saying it would be dead. But, yeah, that's what... I, I'd, like to, I'd like to know this. Because... Um, it's just, I don't understand. I, it just really does bother me. How did she get pregnant? And how, you know, it's like, obviously, female vampires can get pregnant by anyone. Male humans or male vampires. Because their body is, they, they, they can't change, you know. That's one thing, though. What about their hair? I've always wondered. Like, my friend brought that up. If, like, they wanted to pull a prank on Edward and, like, shave, like, his legs or something, could it grow back? And, you know, like, I could just imagine them, like, their hair just being horrible. Um, just because it would just get, just, it would die. I don't know, there's just certain things that I'm overthinking, and I know I'm overthinking, but I just think... Twilight's dumb. And also, one thing that does bother me about the books, I did not read the entirety of Breaking Dawn. I read, like, half of it, if that. Um, because it just is like, I can't take this anymore. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, was, 
Stephanie Meyer really cut out a lot. Like, she went into so much detail when they weren't having sex, when they actually didn't get to the point of having sex. But when they had sex, you, I feel like, like, she, there was pages missing. She did not, there was, it was kind of like, oh, they start, and then it's the uh, next day. Like, there, she, she, that's how she's not the greatest author. Is, you know, yeah, the series is meant for young adult, but sure, there are a lot of tween, little younger girls into it, but it's kind of like with, with Harry Potter, the way Harry Potter was. Yeah, a lot of kids, little kids started reading it, but the books really weren't intended you know, it started getting darker towards the end, and some people couldn't handle it, but I feel that there's a lot of sex, a lot of sexuality in this series, because vampires are sexual creatures. Um, I, I'm not saying that, like, romantic, I'm saying that, like, they, they seduce you, they're supposed to be attractive because they eat you. They seduce you so they, they can eat you, that's, that's how, what their thing is. And I just, it does bother me that she held back on that part and it's like it doesn't have to be a dirty romance novel you know because my friend used to read those and they were cindy would just read those and they were so bad but they don't need to be like she didn't need to go into like graphic detail but i think she did leave out a lot when it came to that um but yeah um other than that I really think there's nothing else besides the fact that the fandom kills it. The books are not the worst things in the world. They're okay. She does have good character development. I mean, you fall in love with the characters. I know a lot of people have to say, I hate this, a lot of the storyline and the fandom, but the characters are, you know, interesting. Um, there are certain flaws. Like, the werewolves really aren't werewolves. They're like shapeshifters. And the vampire Sparkling? I don't mind daywalking vampires, but sparkling sparkling kind of is a little there's really no I feel there's no point to it you know oh reason why they should be the direct selling but they really I don't see how it matters you could have just ugh. but this is getting long now but the fandom did kill it um what was it was it sky she told me these girls are talking about edward edward and she went up to them and she's like edward who's that is that one of the jonas brothers and they just gave her death glares <sighs> i think it was sky who told me she did that um but yeah other than that um i think that's really all i have to say twilight is just ridiculous and it's, i really wish it would just be over now breaking down does not need to be in two parts breaking down just doesn't even need to come out <laughs> I think it just go away. I'm so tired of it. Twilight ruined vampires. They seduce you, then eat you. They rip your, th well, they they eat you. They they drink your blood and kill you. That's what they do. And an another little note about vampires: something that my mom bothers my mom is when vampires in movies are like super gory, like they rip your throat out and like tear you to pieces. A real vampire would not waste the blood. They, they would not waste the blood. They would, there would be no drop anywhere. They would drain you. I mean, they wouldn't waste the blood. Think, I can understand. I don't know. It's just one of those things. Like, they wouldn't waste the blood. They would drink it all. They wouldn't just rip you to pieces and have blood everywhere. That would be a waste. I guess the only exception would be is if they really just wanted to kill you or something. But, yeah. I'm going to end this here because this is super hella long. Super hella long. Okay. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.